the Dickinson War is over. Yay! <laughs> Except, meanwhile, the actual war rage is on, which is why I'm going to need your help. Help with what? I'm hosting one of our sewing circles tonight, only I've renamed it the Amherst Ladies Aid Society, and we'll be making bandages for soldiers. Well, thank you both for being here. Um, I love the show so much, and your performances are so stellar. Um, one thing that I just was really interested in with this season was just how heavy it was, really. It was so emotional. Uh, there were moments for you, Anna, when you were playing Lavinia, where you were talking to Mr. Dickinson, and he was talking about the polarization of the country and how he was saying, you know, it's almost as if the South, when they were reading the ledgers of the, the fatalities um, that weren't seen as people. So I wonder for you as an actor who's picking up this piece of work, what it meant to you to be talking about something that took place back then, but somehow has some realness to it now with the polarization of this country. Yeah. I mean, it, it in many ways, it feels like the essential project of the show because it's not a coincidence that there are so many parallels between the 1860s and today, the, the society that we're living in today is built on the decisions of this time period and, and the incomplete ways that we attempted to make a more equitable society and failed to make a more equitable society and the competing beliefs in America. I mean, I think in preparation for this season, I learned so much more about the Civil War and this time period than I had before. I really recommend everyone um, listen to, there's an amazing uh, free podcast on Spotify that's a Yale lecture about the Civil War and there's also Ken Burns documentary among many other things but I think it makes you realize that these moments, especially when you're watching these show, these moments that feel uncannily like what we're living through is because this history isn't so long ago. We're living, we are haunted by this history and we're living through the repercussions of this moment. Um, and, and I think that scene in particular was a hard one because, because I think like many children in America right now, Lavinia feels like her father's views are a bit outdated, but also doesn't want to um, dehumanize him in talking to him. So that was just, that made this season all the richer and more interesting to me. You know, you are, you know, a pro executive producer on the show. You also play the main character um, and your character is going through a lot of growth herself. One of the things that really stuck out to me was what Betty was saying to Emily, which was, you know, writing without, you know, when shutting out the world is as well as dead. And a lot of times Emily has shut out the world, but now she is really in it and she's trying to be a source of hope for people. So how do you feel that your character and this show could be a source of hope for people in such a crazy time right now? Well, I feel that art can be a source of hope and a source of light and, and good. And I think that that's what Emily is sort of contemplating in this season, right? It, can her words matter? Can they have an impact? Can they help? Because she is desperately trying to figure out a way that she can, you know, she is feeling, like you mentioned, everything that is going on in the wider world for, for you know, one thing about Emily is she, she does feel everything. And although she might close herself off or remain in this confined space, she has this ability to just allow everything to, to affect her, for better or for worse. Um, and I, during un times of uncertainty, have definitely turned to uh, f different forms of, of art. And I, I can only hope that as somebody who does that myself uh, and, and a, a fan of storytelling um, and somebody who has moments where I'm just looking for some form of release that this show can serve at all, any of those things to um, other people in, in times of uncertainty. And I think it can. I think that there are multiple opportunities and, and storylines and characters that people can, can feel like they can relate to. This story is very relevant, like, like Anna was saying. It's uncannily um, uh, relevant to, to what's happening. So I do think that hopefully it can, it can serve as that source of hope. Yeah, thank you both so much. I know it's our time now, but it was a pleasure to speak with you both again and, and enjoy the rest of your day. You too, thank, thank you.